Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Sully. Look, we had a great time in Colorado and specifically at the Denver Aquarium where we got to dive with five species of sharks. The sharks were engaging. They were all up in our face. And plus we got to walk away with some amazing shark teeth that I'll show at the end of the video. With that being said, we're gonna get to the experience. But before we do, hit the subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. It'll help support us. And we want you guys to continue to see all the adventures that are come next and the relationships that we build throughout all these dives. So with that being said, let's get right to the experience. Let's go. Okay, so we're here at the Mile High City, the downtown aquarium in Denver. It features exhibits of freshwater fish that are native to Colorado, as well as some oceanic sea life that's from around the globe, which you'll see a little bit here in a second as me, Tyler, and Seth actually are walking around the aquarium. There are more than 500 species of animals that can be found at the aquarium and the facility houses more than 1 million gallons of water. A new highlight at the downtown aquarium is actually the shark cage experience. Visitors can actually dive into the exhibit of a shipwreck and swim with five different kinds of sharks in the shark cage, which is something that you guys are gonna see us do today. Another highlight of the aquarium is the exhibit of jellyfish which glow in the dark under special lighting. Adventurous children and adults can enjoy gently petting stingrays in the stingray reef and the touch tank. So here they showed us those, those behind the scenes features. They showed us the millions of gallons of water that are pumped through this aquarium every day. And here you can see the tanks that those stingrays were actually swimming in earlier. So they got us fitted for our suits. They got us, they got us everything that we needed, the gloves, as well as the safety dive brief uh, before we got into the tank with the sharks. One of the special tanks we got to see was these giant sea turtles that unfortunately we couldn't touch or pet because it was against the law. Uh, and so we didn't get to touch the turtles but our dive master, our dive guide, gave us plenty of information on the turtles and it was cool to see these animals interact, especially with a zebra shark. So here we are, we're about to get in to the tank with the sharks and our dive guide, you see her there, she was amazing, but she was able to direct traffic with the sharks there's the black tip, which was a very curious darting shark that was all over the map. And there you see a sandbar shark who was very interested, very energetic. And there are other sandbar sharks inside of the tank that are just as energetic, if not curious, and getting very, very close to us. But we wanted to be careful we didn't get within the swim patterns of the sharks. It makes the sharks nervous if we interject within the swim patterns. So we had to be careful about our submergence. The kids and all the families, they love to see us dive as we we're waiting for our, our other uh, guests that were swimming with us, our other dive buddies. So we got to do a lot of waving and a lot of having fun with the kids. Those little sharks there, those are bamboo sharks, the Burmese bamboo shark is a rare fish that lives in tropical waters off of Burma in Southeast Asia. Bamboo sharks have large spiracles. These openings just behind their eyes um, occur on all rays and some sharks. They're very small sharks and they're deep water sharks who don't need any extra help breathing. They get up to three and a half feet in length and for males and females, they get up to four and at four feet in length. So you can see immediately as we descended to the bottom and as we got into our spots, we were surrounded by sharks. And one fascinating thing, which we'll show at the end of the video, are the teeth that we actually got to find while we were there in the tank 
with the sharks. These sharks were very active, except for those sand tiger sharks, they move extremely slow, but it's not a shark that you necessarily want to trifle with. They're not a necessarily a danger to humans, but they are still a shark and a shark that you don't necessarily want to reach out and touch and push upon, but let it have its space, respect the animal and uh, make the most out of the experience. So those sand tiger sharks, they are denser than the water and maintain buoyancy by swallowing air and holding it into their stomachs. Sand tiger sharks may look menacing, but they're pointed teeth, but they are considered sluggish and no threat to humans. Like I said earlier, sand tiger sharks grow to a maximum length of 10 and a half feet. Sand tiger sharks can be found on the surface of the water or up to 656 feet deep. We enjoyed all the fish of the aquarium, including those sawfish. There is another bamboo shark, an all white bamboo shark. Like I told you, those sandbar sharks were mighty curious. They were at our faces a lot of the times, just trying to keep an eye on us, swimming over us, swimming in front of us. They didn't mind that we were there in the space. Fun fact about the sand tiger shark is that it could detect electrical signals from prey about eight to 12 inches away. There's Boyden, he's still digging for those teeth. He found about 10 teeth while they were there. So those sawfish, the large sawfish, they prey upon ponds and other crustaceans with fishes dominating their diet as they grow. They can grow approximately to 20 feet long and have been reported to reach up the lengths up to 23 feet. Sawfish are among the most endangered elasmo branches in the world. So for the half, first half, the sawfish were pretty docile and pretty sleepy. For the second half, they were pretty entertaining. I felt like they knew that we were about to leave the tank and they were getting pretty active towards the end of our dive.
sand tigers, they looked pretty gnarly. And at times, one came right over our heads, almost brushing against our heads. And it's so challenging to stay so calm when something that big and something that looks that terrifying is that close to your face. So here are all the teeth from the Denver shark dive. We have two sand tiger teeth right here. This is a broken sand tiger tooth. Seth, he found this one. This is a black tip uh, shark tooth right here. And then this one was a little baby tooth and don't know which shark it came from, but great mementos from the dive. Seth made out like a bandit had 10. I think Tyler had like three or four or six. And then I came out on the short end, but we're glad that you guys enjoyed us for this venture. We hope that you liked this video. Subscribe to the link below. Like the channel. Go farther underwater. We'll see you next time on another Breathe Below. Let's get it.